Challenges your connectors, the dendrites start to die away, you become less sharp. Eventually, you don't even know what's going on. Education helps. The greater your education, formal or self taught, the more reserve you have, the more cells you have that you can make connections with, okay? Because you have more dendrites that can make instant connections. The greater is your chance of staying mentally alert through old age. Learning helps a lot. Conductors live pretty long lives because the music stimulates their brain cells. You simply have a larger reserve to draw from when other cells die. You can compensate easier. Remember, a healthy mind is an active mind and a stress-free mind. So music, math, novel environments, and exercise helps a lot. Symphony conductors seem to age very slowly. They stay sharp until they're 90 years old or more. Mathematicians, mathematicians also stay very sharp. It's a very strenuous mental process. 
people that exercise regularly seem to stay sharper also. That's in another lecture I did. Uh, rats that have their environments changed daily stay mentally sharp and could do mazes quicker. What they did is they took a bunch of rats, they put them in a box, and that's all they did every day. And others, they put in a box with different toys. So they changed the toys every day, okay? Then another one's where they're interacting with other rats. And after all these studies, they you know, sacrificed their brains, they looked at the connectors. The ones that had constant stimulation on a daily basis had very large brains. The ones that were just in a box, such as a condominium, or a room in a ship, where you don't get out. <laughs> you have to get out and explore things, okay? They had smaller brains. So you have to get out and expose yourself to new environments. Travel exposes you to new novel environments. It really grows your brain, seeing the new things that we're seeing all the time. Like Saigon, you know, I had no idea that this temple existed, this old Chinese temple from the 1600s. Traveling in an RV or boat forces you to adapt constantly to where you are at the present time. I, I like to travel on both of those things. So I'm exposed to new environments constantly, it makes me think. Now how am I gonna to exist today? Where am I gonna sleep? Where am I gonna shop? You know, it's all new environments. Variety is the spice of life. Doing the same old, same old makes you old. Simple as that. To stimulate new brain growth, you have to get outside your comfort zone and learn something new and do something different, okay? Old men, but part of a brain that needs to be forced to grow is the part that you don't use. So you don't know anything about, let's say, poetry. Learn poetry, because that's the part of the brain you're not using, right? Or you don't know anything about mechanics, how to fix a car, or anything about gardening, or growing a beautiful bonsai tree, you know? So just do different things with your brain. So stimulate your brain by doing a variety of novel learning experiences. You force these dying cells into new life, even create new brain cells. There's a nice little environment. This is in Utah, Western United States. So what are the types of variety? You do variety in activities you do, variety in living conditions, not just living in the same old place, variety in mental stimulation, Variety in friends. Try to make new friends constantly because old ones will die off. <laughs> <laughs> the world gets smaller and smaller. Keep on expanding your friends. Just like the stock market. Diversify, diversify, diversify. So if one component dies off, you have something left, okay? Diversification keeps your brain cells young. He doesn't have my choice, does he? <laughs> so stimulate your pleasure sensors. Music, like, music stimulates your brain pleasure sensors, makes you feel better. Dancing does the same thing. Physical activity, playing sports, stimulates your brain sensors. Brain circulation improves, and your neurons thrive. Sex stimulates your brain pleasure sensors. Men who live long, have more sex live longer, but repeat it over and over again. Uh, when you constantly stimulate your pleasure senses, your brain will be happy and you continue to thrive. It will continue to grow. A happy brain is a healthy brain. Here are the rat studies that I talked about. Last living in cages, condos of Lucky Do had small brains. Where the environment was changed, they did not show any sign of aging just by changing the environment. Walking in a treadmill also kept them young. So, New environments, physical activity, constantly changing mind and learning new things kept the brains from rats young. It does the same thing to us. Yeah. Exploring the world on a cruise ship. <laughs> Exercising on a regular basis makes your brain younger. So how do you improve your mind from where you are right now? Socialize in various circles of interest. You know, on the internet, there's different interest groups. 
Just go into other areas and meet new friends and start doing different things. <laughs> have different groups of friends. You know, have your mahjong friends, and have your rollerblading friends, have your swimming friends, you know, have your fashion group friends, you know, different groups. Whatever you're interested in. If you're interested in opera, have your opera friends, you know. Uh, learn about different subjects, something you never knew anything about. You don't know how to learn how to play a piano? Learn the piano. It's going to be really difficult, but it's going to grow your brain. Learn a new skill. You want to become good at dancing, if you want to become good at sailing, if you want to be good at bicycle riding, just learn it. Playing sports, ping pong, pickleball. Ping pong is really good, fast reflexes. What's pickleball? Pickleball is a form of tennis, but it's played on a half court. You play it with wood racket. It's been real popular in retirement centers all over the world now. Uh, balance your mind muscle coordination. That's what all these sports you do. It keeps your mind activated with your muscles. Uh, playing a mental game such as bridge, trivia, crossword puzzles makes a big difference in keeping your mind young. And exercise, exercise, exercise. All these things come from those animal studies I just showed you before. And also what we know. So, in life, as an aging, expect surprises. I'll give you an example of what happened to me today. I came here an hour and a half early, the doors were locked up, right? Nobody had the key, so I had to go around and try and find somebody with the key. So, then I had to find somebody to put these chairs up over here. So fine, so I got here 45 minutes early. Guess what happened? The TV was off and nobody had a code to this thing. <laughs> expect surprises, it happens, you know? You don't know what you don't know. And you don't know what you don't know what you don't know. Does that make sense to you? Yes. All right. She doesn't know what's underneath there, does she? <laughs> you only have one mind to lose, so keep it clicking. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. The most important thing, be happy and never stop having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Mm.